Tissot sneaked around it since 2018 when they presented a large 43mm version of the historic Model C star, later coupled with 36mm, then came a more contemporary size with 40 but including a quartz movement and now finally the brand is presenting a Tissot C star with 40mm and with a proper automatic movement. A lot of colors and features to discover so let's begin. We have an automatic watch with the mentioned case diameter of 40, a length of 46 and a height of 12.5 millimeters. Lug width is 20. The watch has a 120 click bezel with a mineral glass insert. Both crystals are made of sapphire, so front and exhibition case back with anti-reflective coating. The watch is powered by the Powermatic 80 movement, has a screw down crown and is watertight up to 300 meters. You can choose between four versions including a PVD covered model and the price is 795 euros or 750 US dollars. So when we see all these specs then the verdict could be that this is not a super special watch but rather a crowd pleaser and that's good in case of Tissot because this is one of these proper Swiss brands that deliver products to the masses with rock solid build quality at a reasonable price. You can look from any angle here to see good and solid features. We have a decent legibility with bold hands and indices, a well-placed date that doesn't break with the symmetry of the dial. Dial itself offers some attention to detail that you spot when you look closely, for example this vertical brushing. And for all of us with the dream of a real Rolex of Mariner one day they gave this model a bit of that typical mess when it comes to the typography. No, I'm kidding, the C-Star logo. There looks like something out of a 90s Toys R Us, but the amount of words is okay in my eyes for a tool watch. And it is in fact a tool watch. Very legible bezel that operates in one direction like it should. Window glass as an insert, that might be quirky, but it's too early to say if it works or not. Do you have any experience with that material in a bezel? If so, let us know in the comments. And it goes on. Screw down crown is mandatory for this type of watch, but certainly not a movement with an 80 hour power reserve. I mean, we're under 800 bucks here. That's clearly a fat plus paired by the water resistance of 300 meters. Very nice, I also find the bracelet. Classy oyster type of thing with polished center links and a quick release system. Quality, absolutely okay. After handling quite some Tissots, I can tell you that it does the job 100%. It doesn't feel like this super expensive Igla bracelet, but it's also not a 90s Seiko standard. Another plus are the different versions and the PVD plated one. There is something for every taste in this genre, I think, and these watches you actually find in local stores so that you can check them out. Because this is a little caveat here. There are some Tissot models that look great on images and on high definition film, but not necessarily in real life, just under a cloudy sky. But at the end here, it is quite hard to find a real negative that is not determined by taste. So when you're in need of a decent diver at a price that makes you comfortable wearing that thing in the ocean, here it is. And when you want an equivalent in direction fashion diver, here it is. And if you want something that could serve in a 90s action hero movie, here it is. So verdict again, finally they did it. And that said, allow me to close this episode. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to watch of the week.